six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink 513. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressures are nominal. That's a fuel tank. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4 East from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 1229 Pacific, PM Pacific Time. Now the next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the power and telemetry nominal. Which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic, which means that the rocket is traveling faster than the speed of sound. We should hear that call out from Max Q shortly. Max Q. And there's that call out from Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. Now we are just about one minute away from a series of events, main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and then lastly, fairing separation. Miko, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. That's followed by stage separation when the first and second stages separate. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And lastly, fairing separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events, which will happen in quick succession. Separation confirmed. And back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, Stage Step, and SES-1. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that confirmation of fairing separation from the second stage. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for its fourth time and the other half flying for its seventh time. On the left side of your screen right now is our Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right side is the MVAC engine on our second stage, currently carrying the Starlink satellites to orbit. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is located in the Pacific Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last about another four and a half minutes.
As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. And as I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 244th mission overall and the 45th mission just this year. Coming up next in the mission is the entry burn on the first stage, which is the first of two burns that will go through in preparation for landing. We should see that stage one entry burn start in just under a minute from now. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for the stage one entry burn, which you can see on the left side of your screen there. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric re entry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there's that call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. Coming up next is the landing burn on the first stage, which is the second and final burn in preparation for landing. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one transonic. And there's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Coming up in about 20 seconds from now, we should see the stage one landing burn start on the left side of your screen. Stage two in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You in the Pacific Ocean. We should also hear that call out for SECO or second engine cutoff in stage a few moments. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. <laughs> stage one landing confirmed. And if you can hear that cheering, everyone here at Hawthorne is very excited. This Falcon 9 first stage is now successfully launched and landed for its Seco 12th one. time. We also heard that call out for Seco 1. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's confirmation of good orbit. Today's landing marks our 205th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff and orbital insertion, that wraps up our coverage for now. So be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.